For me, a good design response in Calandra is a response that lets us enjoy the outdoors. Yeah, opening that up with the nice land, green landscaping and yeah, which can also be used as event space. Community spaces that would be full of art and full of trees and plants and maybe some innovative climbing structures for kids to climb around in. Whoever lives here today have got to feel like they are the next custodians of the land. So the more that they know about the vegetation, uh, the landscape, the stories, landmarks, the better off everybody will be in, in, for the future. It's that sort of precinct here, which is like an inter a seaside entertainment precinct that I enjoy. Yeah, we like it's not pretentious as yeah. well, that you know, yeah. there's a, a comfortability about just walking yeah. down the street, yeah. not having to get dressed up. Um, but uh, yeah, I think there's a real local vibe and a friendliness about this place that we love. It's like a large country town by the sea, uh, it really is. As a local resident, I'm excited to see the Creative Hub come to town to reinvigorate the business scene, to bring more people to town to just revitalise completely Calandra and our unique and fantastic region. The area would provide a nice, relaxed outdoor area to meet clients rather than keeping business meetings corporate and in an office space. I think one of the biggest issues at the moment is it's like it's connected but not by anything that sort of makes it cohesive it's just a bunch of streets you know and some and some long-term businesses that have been there for a long time and and some services like the library and the community center but it doesn't really have anything that like makes it closely knit i don't think a great deal would change uh, but i would see this boulevard or this walkway moving up towards it the invitation that i really like of um that area is that it's like just beautifully landscaped to walk in from the um, from that main street. I think as a as a main street, being able to um, draw attention to some of these arcades and some of the laneways that um, connect the streets and making them more user friendly and more prominent. We'd like to see it better connected down to the beach. We'd like to see better. Uh, bicycle connection to the area. For example, today, to avoid the traffic, we came up the laneways. Now, those laneways are currently passive, and we could see that they could be connected right through as a spine. Reactivating and energising and connecting businesses with the new creative hub. enlarging the gardens and having more walk, walkways through there and a bit of um, artwork maybe. Some really nice seating, some really nice trees leading up into the town square there. I think there are many things already available that probably just need to be woven or stitched together a bit differently and, and seen as a, a collective ex, um, asset. There's lots of different sorts of places that you can access and, and, and do things in. And the new square, you know, the new, the, the new centre and the new town square and all these other, other sort of things that are being created, they just sort of feed off some existing diversity that's already here. up-and-coming art and, uh, and drama and, and stage and that sort of stuff, like having a free open space that the community can rent out and engage in. Buskers or people that are musos can set up and not just the Aboriginal dancers, but local musicians, musicians that have been invited in for festivals. Catering for different age groups, I think is important because this has traditionally been a retirement kind of area. We could even make a food market. If there were markets and activities in the town square, we'd be able to leverage our services, our products, our unique qualities to take advantage of whatever's going on in the new town square, the cultural hub. 
I think this is really going to be a space that's going to activate not only our Indigenous culture, our arts community, our families, our business community. It's really going to bring that life back into the CBD of Palanda that we've been waiting years for.